15 rebounds. Uh, we talked about just meeting him earlier today. What did he show you tonight? He was, he was great. Uh, stuffed the stat sheet, played good defense, tons of energy. I mean, I don't think he's really played since the, you know, the G League bubble. So, heck of an effort from him and, uh, you know, proud of the way he played. What was your, your message to the guys throughout this one and at the end of it in the locker room? A lot of guys get an opportunity uh, that yeah. they don't usually have. Yeah, it, you know, um, that's, a, that's a great team. You know, that's a team with the best record in the league. Uh, we went out there severely under man, and, and most importantly, they stuck together, played hard. Uh, defensively, were pretty good. Maybe gave up too many threes, but otherwise did a lot of good things defensively. And uh, just told them I was proud of them. And it was great to see some of those guys get some – some minutes, some opportunity, make some buckets, get some rebounds and stops, and, and just kind of develop. So uh, lots lots to be thankful for, um, you know, and, uh, and we move on to Detroit. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I got two for you. Piggybacking off of Grady, you mentioned kind of the, the speed dating aspect with Alizé. Just were you able to run any hard sets for him, or did he get a lot of those 23 points just off of, you know, feel for the guys and, and you know, kind of playing off them? We didn't run anything for him. And, uh, you know, he just played hard, rebounded the ball really well, uh, you know, got in the cracks, cut, screened, rolled, played, ran the floor. Um, you know, he made a lot of little floaters in and around the basket, just activity and energy. So uh, great effort for a guy who joined us uh, this morning. And then just with Reggie Perry, it seemed like he was shooting with a lot of confidence tonight. Just what, what did you notice about him, today, especially, you know, first time he got run since the G League bubble? Yeah, he, uh, you know, we know he can shoot. I, I think Reggie could develop into a, a very good shooter. Um, you know, he, he's a young player that you know, has a future. He's got to continue to play hard and develop his motor and, uh, and his alertness defensively, but very capable player. I'm glad he got some minutes tonight and continue to develop. <laughs> Christian Winfield, Newark Daily News. Hey, Coach of... Nick hit a three tonight, and, and for him, I think that's been a process because he had that shoulder thing that he had going on. And he said he said at one point earlier this season that he kind of had to reteach himself how to shoot in some ways. Did you see that type of work that he put in, and, and just what does it mean for him to be able to hit a shot after everything he had to go through with his shoulder? Yeah, well, it's, you know, we, when it tough, uh, a night like tonight when we're under man, you know, you, you want to see all these guys have moments of success and, and gain confidence. So it was great to see him knock down a three. Um, you know, he's gone through a lot, you know, trying to get his body right to be able to play in this league. So, um, you know, we're thrilled with his progress, and uh, it was nice to see him make one tonight. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Steve, I'm not sure how much more you could know now than you did before the game, but, I mean, with regard to James and Blake, I mean, do you are you expecting them to be able to go in Detroit? And Landry, is he even going to meet you there and test it out, or are you not clear even on that? I'm not sure about Landry. Um, Blake will play in Detroit. Uh, James, I hope can play. You know, he's pretty banged up. You know, he's, he, um, you know, we, we will probably have to see how it goes, how he feels tomorrow, and then how he feels on Friday. But uh, well, we hope he can play, but that's not a guarantee. So, uh, but Blake should be able to play. Um, and uh, and I'm not sure about Landry. I haven't had the latest update, like I said before the game, and. and uh, um, and, I, and, I, and I haven't found out yet. So we'll see how it goes. But I wouldn't expect Landry to join us, but it's not out of the question. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Steve, on a, um, on a game like this, how much do you actually take from it that you want to have the guys look over again? How much you're like, you know what, we're just going to move past this one and move on to the next? What's the balance? Yeah, we, we don't take anything from this. You know, you're missing maybe three top players. You're missing Blake. Um, you know, we once the game – got away early. We kind of, you know, were able to rest some of our other rotation guys. So we, we don't take anything in this game except the opportunity for young guys to develop and play and get an opportunity. So um, we, we'll move on to Detroit and and uh, hopefully have some guys back to play.